Hey, how you guys doing? My name is Joseph Charles Cohen, the new face of art. Canvas gold bars, time priced art. Goes up by time forever. And I really like this one. I'll take a good look. Look at this one, guys. I like this one. Something about it. Got that style. Looks good. I like it. Now we'll translate to this. I hope it, I hope it turns out because I kind of really like this war paint. You know what? I'm not even going to touch that. It's one of those rare, just works. I just, now the middle has to turn out quick. I don't want this one to screw up because I really like this one. I really like this one. I think this is 73. I really like this one. I don't want this to turn out. This has to be straight. It's got to be where it's supposed to be. I'm going to take some extra care. Extra care of this. This one's got some style. They all got style. This one's got some extra, extra style. This has to be perfect. Sort of kind of worked. I don't know, maybe. Actually, look at it now. Kind of works in a way. Just make sure this is all. We don't take the time and put these away properly. Things get messy. Not bad, not bad. It's got some style to it. Where the middle actually kind of works because when you see where it's more white, it, it looks like something scraped right across, you know what I mean? From there to there, even though no, that's just the way. But I really like this one. This has got some, something to it. The fingerprint in focus. That's the fingerprint. That's your gold streak. This becomes the gold mine. It's ounce. Price every day for. Now let's go look at the ounce price today. It's uh, 1960 and 60 cents. No, I didn't I didn't write that, so it was 60 and 60. That's what I saw on gold dot gold price dot org. So actually this is number 73 Canvas Gold Bar. Getting closer to completion, guys. I don't have to worry about doing this ever again. Just can't believe we've done 73 of them. Like, you really don't think about that. I've done 73 Canvas Gold Bars. And all of them sold for multi millions of dollars all over the world. They've sold, I have a hundred million in the bank. Got a hundred million in the bank. They got a 50 foot yard off the coast. 
I got a million dollar mansion. I got a million dollar Manhattan apartment. About a five million dollar Manhattan apartment. I got a estate in Hawaii that I bought half of the state and then half of the estate of my estate in Hawaii I gave back to the Hawaiians. Uh, you know what? I got a Ferrari, a McLaren, I got, uh, I got a Lambo, I got everything. What am I doing, man? And I got nothing. I got a, I drive a old Nissan Maxima. Okay. I live in a rented house with a roommate. I don't even own my own house. I'm poor. You know, you know I have a job for 22 years. Since December 21st, 1998. Same job. So, I think that's 22 years. Now let's just take a really good look at this one. Because this one just turned out. I just like the little bit with the gold here. This is one of those rare paintings. See, my art, I have no control over. It's 100%. Like, look at that. You can't tell me that that's something special. Like, I've done 172 of these. And it's hard to get these, like, I don't know where, there's just something about this one. It's just got that something. And 350, over 350 war paints now. I'm probably closer to 400. I totally lost count. And I got a lot of the war paint on my old computer, which I have to transfer I've been lazy and I didn't want to start up the other computer and put my hard drive. I have a, a hard drive that I can just plug into it and transfer all the videos and because uh, I need it to, to back it up so it's safe for the future. In case something happens to this channel or it gets, I don't know, gets taken down or something, then I, can, I have all the videos here. That will be uploaded onto, a, and I have uh, dates of all these videos. I, I take a video here and there of my channel just to show the dates and stuff like that. So, so if that God forbid something ever happens to this channel, I have a .com that every single video is. I have it all backed up. Every single war paint that's a picture that you see there, the, the big picture is the paintbrush you saw it being I painted the painting the video itself that you're watching is a piece of art and then this is just the end result time is our friend time is our ally every piece of Joseph Charles called art is over there every other art in the world with the Mona Lisa on top is over there in the big monster pile any single artist out there do not take this the wrong way I'm not looping you with it's just you if you price your art and you do everything a certain you know you're all over there my art this medium has never been done before it's never been put on canvas before. I've talked to the Ben Nye company, the actual company that makes Ben Nye theatrical face paint. And they said they've never in the history of in, in the history of their company never heard of anybody putting on canvas 
And I said, listen, could you tell your executives, tell everybody, give them an email, just let them know that I want to be the only person that's ever thought of putting their product on canvas. And they, and they said, yeah, they've never even heard of that. Or nobody's ever contact, contacted them, the Ben Nye company, never contacted them that they had anybody making canvas paintings out of their coloring and their coloring is all made for to be safe on the face and everything and they explain some things that I'll just keep it to their company and myself for obvious reasons about ingredients and stuff like that and I'll just that's between me and them the fact is any gallery out there, any collector out there, besides the ones that own my paintings right now, there's no gallery right now in the world except a couple here and there that have my art that have this medium on canvas in their gallery. It's not a traditional oil paint, it's not acrylic, it's not charcoal, it's not whatever. It's 100% unique. That's why it's dollar minute for the dollar minute paintings and the canvas gold bars so the ounce price this particular one's one thousand nine hundred sixty and sixty dollars actually came up a little bit from last week for ever ah, I'm getting old eh? it's or I'm just tired you know I've always had a problem with this eye where the eyelids droopy, but I'm not 18. I'm not a I'm not a young kid anymore. I'm not a young man. I'm an old man. Still feel young at heart. Still feel young. Now, something that just came to mind. My if you're watching this video and you watch the Nick Sandman thing, uh, I'm getting views on that every single day. Some of the views are 20 a day, 30 a day. And uh, if any video goes viral, it's probably that one. Um, just watch the video. Um, you want to pause it to see which one which one it was now so even though I don't get a lot of views I am happy for that because it knows that the art world in general doesn't know I exist uh, some of the New York galleries Los Angeles like Miami Chicago and that some of the galleries know I exist and that's why you got a little bit of extra because I contacted a lot of them but some are just kind of watching. Some say, listen, we're interested, uh, you know, because you're unique and they've never seen somebody put so much war paint. Like, uh, you know, I, trust me, to come up with a different design every week is not, if you think it's easy, it's not. I don't know. Try putting five different on your face. And it's not easy. It's not easy. you got to keep on... And to get every single one so it doesn't look like the next one is not not easy like trust me the art of doing war paint on your face it's not easy uh, by the way uh, what's the one that to uh, so this one's this is the banana tape banana to the wall one when it, that was done uh, that one's been getting some views lately. Uh, I think one of the Campbell's one here. I think this, our uh, beef, that's been getting some views lately. Actually, a couple of people have actually had soup with some of these. People have said, you know, I've actually had soup, and I could say I had soup with an artist and a Campbell's type thing. Uh, Raptors one has been getting views all the time, especially when they 
when we were playing lately, and people are starting to come in. I actually had somebody call me about the price on that one, or talk to me on email, and I told them that's the price is what you see. Just a second. The price is what you see in the comments there, and that's the price. And they say, well, we'll I'll give you a call when you're serious kind of thing. But I am serious. This is the one that's been getting 20, 30 views every single day. This one here. Uh, this is the one that, I don't know, it's getting way more views than it should. Uh, this is another one that's been getting some views. You know, it, it's, it's kind of strange how this one's got a lot of views. This one's the most viewed because this was the radio, uh, when I was on the radio there. This is owned by a nice lady, and uh, this one here is so unique looking. Uh, the ones that are dark here, you know, I've actually, the ones that are dark, I actually, the dark here where it's pretty borderline blackface, and even though that's a racist thing, I actually, believe it or not, got about three African Africans, I don't know if you say North American or American or if they're Canadian, so I'd just say African North Americans without upsetting anybody. And I told them, I said, if this one, this one, uh, one that's way up here, this one, actually, this uh, one of these are actually owned by a couple Africans that, uh, long story. But I said, does this look racist to you as another said, I, the last thing I want to do is offend anybody in your race uh, because the blackface on in the world is not a good thing for but every single person that's black, anybody that uh, sees it an artistic thing, he says, you know what? If I was running in a in with a war club after them and that they'd run the other way is what you're saying. But it's no disrespect to anybody. You know, I try try to make these when I do these darker ones that uh, and I hope all of these ones sell to African world Africans. I'll just say world to Africans. Uh, I hope all those sell to African Americans, Af African Indians, African Britons. You know what I mean? How can I say it? You know what I mean? No disrespect. It's more of a respect thing to you guys. And this one's actually pretty cool one like that. This one's actually made after uh, this one, Floyd Mayweather. This is McGregor. This is before their fight. This is McGregor where I thought the day before that he was going to win for sure and, and he lost and then I had to repaint this painting. You know what? This is the same painting. It's that one. Okay. Yeah, this, I painted Mayweather 1, and I transferred this paint onto this painting, you understand? So, technically, that's double the time, but I don't know. And then from all the ones with triangles, or canvas, and all these ones are just the stamps from a long time ago. And I just put a nice war paint The funny thing is, just a second. The funny thing, I got an itch sometimes. The funny thing is, when I look at these war paint, I remember every single one. This one I changed a little bit because I hated it. Changed it up. This one was from a uh, camo in the game. It was kind of specifically looked like that. I. 
I really like my military type ones and I try to put those ones as like hedge fund kind of thing like they're doing battle this one's kind of like a, off of uh, a reverse kind of paint from uh, Star Trek this one was my kind of doing teeth ones and then ones I think are special the yellow ones where I don't do too many yellow ones so those are there this is kind of like an Aussie kind of looking thing. This is a flame off another type of camo on in a game. This one's like a really try to blend the different colors to. I don't know what it's doing there. I really like this one there. Another military type one. This one's off uh, Magnificent Seven uh, Native Guide in there really like this one. This one I did as a spider thing for this fidget spinner. It's the only one of its kind with this fidget spinner. This is the first one where this is Apple. Made after Apple. Music one. And I remember when I first did this I'm, I'm thinking like why am I going to do this? Why am I going to this uh, I don't want to do this and then next thing you know this one kind of like when I saw how the painting looked like uh, I was convinced and then so on and then the Mayweather thing happened and the next thing you know just wow and this is assist my sister other sister try to do a sistery kind of, sistery kind of colors and then we're getting it to closer to Halloween and that's what this and this is like a triptych of the Halloween one this one's Halloween day these three are together. That's her core of my niece. I believe this one's like my bosses or something like that. This one's her Greta Van, uh, a band. Cheyenne, that's a girl that actually has a name, Cheyenne. This is like a traditional native color. It means a lot. Just this one here. This is the the wallet. I don't even know why I did that. Another yellow one. Not so. People call it like tiger, even though tigers are orange. Or they're the orange. The thing is, I, just, I remember. <laughs> I remember in this where I, I took some black and white. And kind of mixed it together, try to get a gray. Where, believe it or not, there's white here. And then this is light blue. And this is the new kind of color. I never really like this one. This one's a, a kind of Maori kind of thing from like New Zealand. Um, this one's just random, random. This is one of the only ones facing. Jeez, I'm itching again. Uh, this is for a lady named Joy. And the reason why this is the only one facing is because for some reason all the paint, all the photos of this disappeared. And in every single other one I have multiples of, but this is the only one that I could find that was facing straight forward. And this is for her for a reason. The reason why every single one's facing one direction. If it's really special, I'll face it another direction. But if you notice, every one's facing. So I'd be facing. Kind of left. And she. When she was a young girl, she, she was burnt in a fire. Or she was in a cabin and it caught fire and. Uh, propane tank or whatever blew up so that's why hers is the only one that's faced 100% forward and every other one if you know us if you're wondering why everything's an angle so it makes hers a little bit special this one I really like this is a co-worker he owns that this is what Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the day they got married. And that's still for them some time in the future. Uh, B 
BBC was supposed to actually take that, but then for some reason they changed their mind. They went too crazy at this moment in time for him. Uh, this is just random. This one I'm just trying to do a kind of a costume look for. This is where I buy all my war paints from them. This is just random. This is Jif peanut butter. Here's the interesting story. This one is like checkerboard. I wanted something that looks like uh, Alice in Wonderland kind of thing. Kind of reversed. And I really, really like it. That painting, if you watch this video, is really cool. My whole life, I eat craft peanut butter. My whole life. One day, Jeff was on sale at Walmart for like literally two bucks. And I've never seen peanut butter sold at two at two bucks. And then the, the famous Jif peanut butter, like, what is this? Kind of, if you saw that commercial was on, I said, oh. So instead of doing craft, I did Jif, where I've only had that once in my life. I'm not long as this video, 26. This is kind of random. I just took some gold and mixed it and kind of rubbed it into the black so it didn't look too dark black face. But I wanted something that looked like a kind of a scary black widow kind of, you know, you know how people are scared of black widows because they see it was the same kind of thing that is. This is doing like a woodsman kind of tropical kind of woodsman kind of thing. This one, I believe, is the French flag. Or, yeah, France wins the World, World Cup. This one's another military type one, very rare military type one. This one's just random, random. This one I want to do like a uh, uh, gold from World War or uh, from WWE. Uh, gold dust from way back in the day, but I didn't want to do hit, copy his. That's basically what it kind of was. I just did a random thing. Uh, I didn't want to... Uh, God, I'm itching again. I didn't want all times. It's 2 in the morning. Wow. wow. Oh, and I still have to upload all my videos. But, I'm not going to stop. So, that's what that is. This one, kind of really like random... This I want to make a traditional traditional kind of native thing. And then there's a lot of Inuit ladies that have this uh, straight down. Something to signi signify kind of their thing. And this I just want to do a straight two-tone color. Just straight artistic kind of thing. This was just one of those days. I was trying to do things fast. That's why you can't face paint yourself fast. This is like another one like I was lazy and, and just wanted to get the paint on. Well, this is what happens when you do it fast, guys. It just doesn't look good. You have to take your time. This is just a random type thing. This is the Banksy Shred. There's a little bit... Uh, actually, I have that sit right here. <clears throat> That's the Banksy one. This one, uh, to the right buyer, will only be sold until then. It sits in my wall. It's my favorite. This, I can't remember. Now this. God, the, the trouble with this new paint, it, it, it's really itchy for some reason. I don't know why. I've never itched so much. And what I do is I use a fork. If it's a really bad itch. Plastic fork works good. Now the day cannabis was legalized in, uh, legalized in Canada, the day of, I put never touched cannabis in my life, never smoked it in my life, never touched it in my life, but I want to be the only person in the world to put cannabis as a medium on canvas before anybody in Canada had a chance and chances are and I don't think nobody's ever thought of that 
So I took an actual gram of cannabis and stuck it all on the painting. And that's that. That's what that is. And it says first in the world. I don't want to say the name of it kind of thing. But that's what that is with the special green. Green. If you don't know, it's kind of green. So the day it was legalized in Canada, I got some and put it on canvas. And first, as far as I know, I'm the first and only one in the world to do that. I don't know what it is with this paint, but I'm, I gotta get through this because I'm itching like crazy. I want to get this stuff off my face. It's funny, I didn't itch all day and all of a sudden it's itching now. Another reverse of, I saw this one and I said, oh, I'll do a reverse. You know what I mean? <laughs> one of those fast ones. Just, I don't know what that is. Another kind of fast one. Another kind of fast one. This one uh, kind of went stripey and it turned really cool looking. So on, so on. And, you know, you can see there's a theme, stripey kind of theme. Uh, this is from Vikings, the show. This one uh, is, this one's actually owned by a gallery lady that owns a gallery and I can't tell what the gallery is because she can't she can't display it or anything in the gallery because the pricing so outrageous that her insurance company won't touch it long story this one's another type of one I was thinking like that other one at the very bottom do something but long gated kind of thing this one really like this one is kind of a traditional kind of native kind of thing uh, this one's like a clown clown one this one's like a, a, uh, one to do something like the gold dust one but more symmetry and stuff like that and if you see right here there's there's silver right here so it's silver gold you can't see that unless you actually watch the video Another kind of fast one. A lot of it's just I start here, start here, do here, do here, and then I just add to it. This one's a really good one. That doesn't really mean nothing, doesn't mean nothing, doesn't mean nothing around them. This is gold hedge fund. Uh, everything that's done in this was for a guy in New York City in the hedge fund, and then in the end, since I, he thought it was a scam that just I said listen you wait a week it's another it's a thousand four forty a day and he thought I was trying to scam him with money or whatever and, and now he realizes because he goes oh I see it's the counter and I go now it's like a million dollars I'm sorry you can't have it now unless you pay a million and if I get famous with these paintings and they get big in the world, then he says that it doesn't matter about money and you buy it. Uh, same thing here, stockbroker, hedge fund, same kind of thing. I try to stop, take stockbrokers and hedge funds and do the war type paint because they're in battle with the funds. And you know what I mean? Or maybe you don't know. And this is the start of the Canvas Gold Mars. And this is technically almost the same as this one this is uh, uh tiger woods one he won his uh his kind of comeback this one is uh janice because she wanted to uh, purple this one was like a, a takeoff of a white walkers this one was a stone i found uh, by sign and it was kind of like put there in purpose and then i just took the stone and this one was the stone was like a bug and that's what that is wow it's getting a long video random 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 Connor mcdavid raptors win wayne gretzky because this is 97 his jersey and i'm wearing oilers jersey by the way my friend had to lend it to me because i don't own an oilers jersey wayne gretzky's because this is canvas 99 Random, random, random. Uh, or story by this camera. This one's a 
kind of a traditional uh, I figured uh, the colors of planets are the, the camel colors of, or the faction colors of the game kind of thing swarm same thing different 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 this one is for uh, another artist that inspired me quick This is for the think a tennis player or something like that. Then the Campbell soup. I try to make it all the same. Then we'll, then all this would have been the same. But Joker came out right in the middle of it, and I had to do Joker. And I'm glad I did now, because now I'm stuck with prime rib. Joker is prime rib, so this could be worth something. So. This is the painting I did live in front of a hundred some people. This is a video of that event. And then this is the spot paintings. This is uh, for where I buy all my art supplies. Each one of these are for the workers that uh, work in the spot. All of these, except the banana one. should give up the banana one to them I don't know I hate to say it if you guys are watching that right now you know I couldn't give this up this one's owned by one of them all of them are you know just has to be chosen kind of thing by them uh, can't remember what this was oh this was the for an apartment free in New York City I joined kind of the thing but it failed, didn't win. This is like a clown kind of new age kind of clown, didn't work. This one's really nice. That was random, random, random. Same kind of concept. Random, random. It's the Maori. Random. Try to do a random, random, random. You know what? I'm going to cut. We're done, guys. We're done. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, we're almost. Let's go in there. It was just random. This was a fast kind of one. Random. I think there was something. I mean, this was like a France, reverse kind of France thing. This one was a traditional from a long time ago. From a picture of a native. Random. Traditional native. Random, random. I really like this one. Random, random. This one I was trying to actually do my face like a painting. Like he. I didn't do everything like. I tried to blend it in, edges and everything, and it turned out really good. It's like an actual painting, like you like paint. Uh, this is one gold hit, almost uh, 1,930 dots world record, and then Blade Runner, Blade Runner is the highest ever ones, which is 2,000 dots, and then this is what gold is, just this, uh, this here, just skyrocket, and here we are. Uh, on that side that's what looks on that side so that's it guys and like I said I remember a lot of those and this is just just become second nature over time and the funny thing is before three and a half four years ago now I've never ever put war paint even for a sporting event nothing in my entire life even as a native uh, for powwows and stuff like that never put one bit of war paint before four years ago ever on my face ever so here i am
almost 400 round, probably pretty close to 400 war pace now just crazy uh, remember the big the big picture you see there of my face is the paintbrush used to paint my face and the story thank you so much for watching fortune favors the bold canvas gold bars are money everything else is just gold